Hey friends, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a really fun DIY for you today. Now, I'm not sure if you have seen the TikToks and the Instagram posts going around where they're filling glass vessels with clear beads and it's the illusion of things floating. Oh, so fun. So we're gonna make a Dollar Tree version. Here's what I bought. Some plastic ornaments. This is too big for my vase, but if you had a bigger vase, that would look amazing in there. Um, I grabbed some plastic icicles. I have some metal nips because I needed to cut these shorter. They're too long. They were too long to fit in the vase that I have, so I just cut these icicles at all different lengths. Just use wire cutters, use whatever you have. I got some glitter because I think that will look fun in one. You're gonna need floating candles if you wanna make it a, like a, a candle. And then anything that you can find that is like metal or plastic. I got some of these foam. I don't know if these would take on the water, but if you were doing it for just like a quick minute or for like an evening, I think that would work out well and i also think these snowflakes might look good in with the icicles um you're gonna want these now this is the key i bought these sure scents they don't sell them in just clear so i got like four packages and took out the clear and threw the red ones away you can order these on amazon as well but four packages soaked got me this much of the gel beads and they are um, I wash them with soap and water in a colander, and then I let them soak. They will take on water, and they do grow in size a little bit. So I let them soak overnight in here, and then you'll need a colander to strain things. They bounce all over the place. You'll need water, and you'll need a clear vessel. We'll do this one. Oops, this one first. Now, I only have enough to do one, so I'm going to create one, dump it out, reset it and show you in a different vase but this is a vase i think will be perfect for these snow uh icicles right how fun is that and then we have our floating candle but what you need to make sure if you want it to float that it fits in here in this vessel it's just going to sit on top it doesn't go down in there but just fine and you don't even have to light them up if you don't want to. So what I'm doing over here is I take this, I'm gonna put some beads and you just need to be careful. Um, these are dangerous if you have children or pets. You do not want them eating these. Now, these are not the Orbeez. Orbeez continue to grow as long as they're in water and they get, they can cause blockages in children's digestion or anybody, an animal. I haven't noticed that this specific ones grow more than they should, you know, more than this, but just to be careful. So I'm just, I'm gonna put a little more beads in there. And the, the, these are, because these are tall, I'm kind of trying to get them on different le levels. I don't want them all at the bottom. See, one of them bounced out. I'll have to find it. My cats won't eat them, but I'm not telling you that other that dogs and children will not. And I just don't think it's a good idea for them to eat these things. So let me pull that in here. Maybe you want this one up higher. And I did cut mine at different lengths or heights. The beauty of this one specifically is I can just push them down as deep as I want them. But what my goal is, is I want them upright. Okay, so they're all, they're all in here. And now watch the magic. When you pour the water over these clear beads, uh, 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 and then because these are, I can straighten them up. Oh, isn't that so fun? Right, and then 
you just stick your candle on top and you light it and now look at how pretty that is oh my goodness i am obsessed i love this all right i'm gonna take a picture of this one for our thumbnail and then we're gonna do a different one okay so we have that one done i have glitter everywhere guys can't help it so fun we are gonna do this one with jingle bells now here's something that I think will be very fun. Imagine cranberries, fresh cranberries and greenery, like Christmas tree greenery from your garden in one of these or several layers. Oh, how exciting. So I'm gonna do Jingle Bells and some white, which I hope will look like snow. If not, I have red and green as well. Um, I don't know how long these will, I want, I hasten to say last, but I, I honestly don't know how long they will, um, keep their shape, if that makes sense, or stay fresh, I guess is the right term, you know, in between. So my thing is, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make them, I'm making them now, but then I'm going to dump them out and I'm going to make them when I decide that I'm going to start decorating for the Christmas, you know, for like my buffet for Christmas. Oops, I forgot. And again, I don't know if this glitter will stay or do its thing, but we're gonna find out, right? Because I think that's exciting. And then you could just use like a skewer or a tall tool or something to make sure everything is buried properly. I kind of just want this to look like snow in between the jingle bells, right? Okay, and then we need some different color jingle bells down in here. I do like a lot of the green because I think green is such a fun Christmassy color. And then in this one, I'm not too concerned about them because the candle is gonna go on the top of this. <gasps> you ready for the magic? Let's see. That look like it's enough jingles in our bells? I think so. A little more and are we ready? Let's add the water. <gasps> Do we love it? And if you don't, these will sink, they just need some help. You can of course get in here with anything you have and kinda, what I didn't want is all of my snow to go to the bottom. So we'll just get some to, there we go. Don't mess with it. Put that on top and you light it up. How fun is that? Oh, I hope you guys love this as much as I do. And I will talk with you later.